Okay, we are continuing with the pattern of each topic. First, we did the topic of powers of 10. We're multiplying decimals. So now we're going to be working on estimating products of decimals. So that is going to be our title, Estimating Products of Decimals. What we're going to be focusing on this week are decimals times a whole number. Next week, we will focus on decimal times a decimal. But right now we're doing one decimal or a whole number in a decimal times a whole number. So there's only one decimal in the problem. So if I was to write and I pretend like it's, I'm going to pretend like it's money, like $2.15 times 16. This would be my decimal. This would be my whole number. Well, how would I estimate that? Estimate the product of $2.15 times 16. So step one. Round to the nearest whole number. Round the decimal to the nearest whole number. That way we have two whole numbers. So if I have two fifteen hundredths or two dollars and fifteen cents if I am rounding to the whole the whole number I'm rounding to the ones place I look next door four or less let it rest so it would be two the next step would be is to round my whole number to either the tens place or the hundreds place, the largest place value. So this goes out to the tens place, so I'm going to round it to the nearest tens place. So the largest place value is tens. So I'm going to round to the tens. So if I'm rounding to the tens, I'm going to go to the tens place and I'm going to look next door. Five or more, let it soar. So it's going to be 20. So now I have... Two times 20, which we know is 40. So $2.15 times 16 is about $40. About means to estimate. And then we're going to have extra practice on the next page.